What are you doing? Where are you going? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm moving now. Tazi, you, you can't. I, I need you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I need you here. Wow. That sounds like an order to me. What? what? Just, just hear me out. Valentino, I don't want to hear anything you have to say right now. Why can't you understand? I, I'm doing this for you. And for me. And for Diageo, it, for all of us. You actually want me to believe that? Okay, listen, my dad will kill you, okay? And the only way out of it is if I do what he says. <clears throat> Just, Tazio, please. I need you here, okay? Tazio, you, you can't, you can't leave, okay? I need you here. I can't do this. I, I can't protect you. I can't protect them. I can't even protect myself. This is too much. This is too much. Mom. God. Mom. 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 Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. Oscar! Sorry. Damien! Sorry, guys. Stay with me. Stay with me. Oscar! Oh, oh shit. Not again. Hold me back. Hold him down. I'll be back. Take this one. You ain't gonna make it. Don't dare say that. Good morning. Breakfast in bed? I get used to that. Yeah? If you move in with me. You want me to move in with you? You're giving me the key to your house? Yeah, you now you can come whenever, anytime. Wow! Thanks!
Yes, guys, I promise we'll have lunch on Friday. Yeah, I know. Listen, Grants, I gotta go. I'll, um, I'll call you when I get out of here, okay? Hi, Grants. Pascal says hello. Yes, I love you too. Okay. Let me guess. Yep. She thinks I spend way too much time at the office, which, by the way, we don't even have an office. Maybe she's right. How is she? She's good. She wants to have lunch on Friday. Oh, fun. Yep, she expects you to be there, too. Where's Adrian? I don't know. All right. Come with me. Where are we going? Office space. She has tickets. I only have one ticket, and I already promised to share it. Okay. Okay, look. Let the girls go to the ballet. Me, you, Nicholas, and Diana, we can go to the magic game. They're playing. Tonight? Yes. All right, I'll go check on Valentina. Awesome. So, you and Sheridan? I like her. Really? I'm shocked. She is, after all, marrying one of us. <clears throat> well, if I were you, I wouldn't get a tan so soon. Why? I'm just saying. No. You know something. No. What is it? N nothing. Forget about it. I'm going to go call Arena and make sure our group is available. Um, you guys have fun at the battle. Whatever. Hey, it's me. Um, at a clinic. But I'm listening, I really want to see you. Do you want to do lunch? Okay, I can grab some on the way. Do you have any requests? Sir, the nurse has informed me that she's told you several times that, that once a patient leaves our care, we don't keep track of them. We don't know where they are. Now, you're more than welcome to file a missing persons report, but you would have to do that with the police. Sir, I know what you're saying, but what I'm trying to tell you is, Elliot had nowhere else to go except this place. So why would he check out of this place? When was the last time you visited him? Because our records indicate that he has not had a visitor in several weeks. Now, Elliot was very sick, and he- And nothing, and nothing. You, he's not, so don't even say it because I would know. Look, all I am saying- Well, you don't know what you're talking about. He's not dead. Can you believe that guy? You know, these guys come in here all the time and drop their friends off to die. Then all of a sudden they see the light and they want to come and make things right. You know, this is just bullshit. Whoever this Elliot guy is, he's so much better off without that guy in his life. I agree. Yeah. There you are. Hello, Sam. It's me, Damien. Damien. 
Ah. Dang it. Ah, that happened again. Yes. How bad was it? It happened in the house. If you breathe in your scratch or something, but he'll be fine. I did? Uh, how long have I been unconscious? Coming up to 14 hours. 14? Oh my god. Adrian? You have to lie down. I, I have to get to Adrian. The doctor has to stay in this bed for at least 48 hours. I don't understand. You can't understand, okay? My father's gonna kill him. You can't get up. You'll hurt yourself. I'm already hurting. It'll pass. I'll survive. There's more risk here than my health. A lot more. Like, like what? You're too young. It's complicated. Chime. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. I think it's time for your grandmother. Wait, just, just help me get you. You're not leaving this house, cuz. It's final. I'll be right back. Damien? Damien. Valentino. What are you doing? Wait. He's trying to leave. Damien, help me get him on the bed. Why you've woken up so soon? Damien, get his doctor really quick, please. Yes, ma'am. You need to get your strength back. You've got to rest. I have to get to the... To home. To Adrian. To, to Adrian Gary. Adrian Gary. He's in danger. I have to protect him. Just rest, my child. Just rest. You need to get here right now. There's something I have to tell you. It's about a dream I had. About what? It's about you and... us? It started when I was stationed in the army. I was stationed in South Korea. And one night I had this dream of you and I on a night just like this. I know it sounds crazy, but... Believe me, it's true. I believe you. I gotta know, though. Earlier you said that you were going to protect me. What did you exactly mean? I don't know, I guess part of me just feels like I have to protect you from someone or something. It's like fate or destiny. So, are you saying that we're destined to be together? All of my life I only ever loved one person. And I know it's crazy, but that person is you. Yeah, I had other boyfriends and girlfriends and long-term relationships. But I never really cared about any one of them. This wedding shouldn't even be happening. But it is. I guess it just took so long for you to come around that I just given up. My last relationship lasted for a long time and when we broke up, I mean, we never really broke up because we lived together for years. You know, love comes in many forms. You're very lucky to have found it at all, but he really does love you. And if you love him, you should Go talk to him before it's too late. Yes, I love him with all of my heart. I know, it's so confusing, but it's true. What I'm trying to say is, I, I asked myself over and over again, how could I love someone that I have never met, someone I knew nothing about? Trey. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is, I love you. I love you. And I just want to be with you, and I want to wake up next to you now and for the rest of my life. I don't love her, and I'll never love her, okay? I have to do this one last thing, and Father will leave us alone. Yes, she's marrying someone else, but you have his heart. And right now, that is the only way he knows how to deal with this. You know, so, so, I don't just, I just want you to hold me. Dad? Dad? 
really? Do you have any idea what today is? Sunday. Christmas Eve. Which, by the way, I should let you know right now, but I really hate Christmas. And I am really trying not to hate you right now. So does that mean that you... Uh, does that mean that you love me? You do, don't you? Oh my god. Luigi. Say it. Just say it. Say it. Say that you love me. Which, by the way, I know that you do. And look, I really don't have the time to entertain you this afternoon. And I still have Christian shopping for you. So I'm gonna go. I'll see you. No kiss goodbye. You said it. Breathe. Just breathe. I love you. Wow. It's taken a lot of minutes. 29 days, 12 hours just to hear those words. I, I can count. And I love you too. Oh, and... <sighs> Mr. I believe somebody in those moments. And this is for you. I will protect you with all my life from anyone or any disease or anything else that may harm you. So many times I watched you wash your way in my dreams. I love you more than life itself and I couldn't bear of losing you. Someone once said that you don't measure life by the number of breaths you take, but by the moments that take your breath away. Right now, Adrian, you are that moment. I love him with all of my heart, my soul, body, and mind. He is my everything. He's my world. Come on, you know, you know this lifestyle wasn't going to be easy for either of you. But it was worth it, right? Go to him, at least tell him how you feel. And let him decide. Excuse me, Elizabeth. Excuse me, Elizabeth, this room is occupied. Yeah, Elliot. Yeah, this is his room. I'm afraid he won't be here anymore. So where is he going to stay? He's not our problem anymore. You've got work to do, right, Adrian? Go! Right. Go on. Won't you save, save, save?
What's good? Now, have you been taking your medication? Elliot, you've been skipping doses again, haven't you? I uh, <laughs> just uh, took a little vacation. You, you took a vacation. This vacation? A couple days. Weeks. A month, I don't know. Do you realize what you were doing to yourself? I mean, why come here at all if you're not gonna fight? There are thousands of patients dying every day who would kill to be in your shoes. To be able to have a chance to take a pill or even see a doctor. Look, it won't happen again, okay? But do you have any idea how how it feels or how I feel? To have the whole world look at you and point fingers? Or to have everyone that you love just just abandon you? Do you? No. I didn't think so. So don't come in here and tell me all this crap or, or put the whole world's problems on my shoulders. Because you know what? My heart can't take it anymore. I'm just... so scared. I miss my boyfriend. I miss my friend. He left. He left me after all these years. He left. Are you fucking happy? Are you? Yeah. I'm sorry, Elliot. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Just hold it there. It's gonna be okay. I'm so sorry. Open. 
She's got it in this in me. She must be, she must be. She used to be so strong. Tell me where did we go wrong? So, honey, before the night is through, I'm gonna. 